안녕하세요 지구인들 달래 어싱거슬 환영합니다 And if it's your first time seeing any of my videos Hi, I'm Rina And this is the moon So if you've already caught on by the intro being in Korean and the title right down below This is another part of the Korean adventure series I hope that you've been enjoying uh, this time that I've been bringing you with me to different situations that I lived through while going uh, abroad and traveling to South Korea. In this video, I'm taking you along with me to AMOA Skin Clinic. I reached out to Soul Guide Medical that I had found out through uh, different uh, soul-based YouTubers. Um, they have been really nice since day one. I just wrote an email asking to see if I could probably potentially get a few skin treatments done while I was in Korea since they are pretty much the skincare capital of the world and they were really fast to respond. Um, I sent them a few pictures of my skin concerns and what I wanted to do. My main skin concerns were uh, my the pores around my nose and under eyes were starting to look slightly bigger than what they used to uh, a few years ago. Um, that tends to happen, your skin changes uh, with time. And well, I honestly wanted that to uh, get reduced as well. I have, I am very prone to redness and I tend to have redness along my nose and uh, the under my under my eyes over here on my cheeks um, and also I wanted to have a treatment done to keep my skin looking youthful for longer so that I could reduce the potential for fine lines and wrinkles at a younger age due to sun exposure and other uh, situations of course. So, um, a Soul Guide Medical wrote back to me letting me know what, uh, what they had consulted with the doctors, what probably would benefit me according to my skin concerns and the pictures. Of course, once I was there, they evaluated me and they uh, made a recommendation based on also seeing me in person and seeing what my skin looks like and uh, the concerns that I had and tried to address them as best possible. There was always an English speaking staff nearby to make sure that everything was well translated and everything was a-okay between me and the doctor and the clinic in particular and uh, without further ado I'll just let you see that footage. So here I am making my way down the streets of Gangnam to the AMO Skin Clinic. Honestly this is super exciting you'll be able to tell in my face. Just a few more steps away I'm a nice looking guy. We made it! <laughs> Sound quality was bad, so I had to take it away for a second there. After just a few minutes of waiting, I went into consultation. As you can see here, Anastasia is being the staff that is translating everything that the doctor is saying um, in order for me to understand what the best course of treatment for me will be. Here they're just evaluating my skin and uh, assessing what they should do with my face. Which is what Anastasia is going to be explaining in just a few seconds. We do think that upper bill and front sole in together with it is because what upper pill does it purifies the skin, right? Mm. Fraxel on the other hand helps to tighten your pores mm. to it helps with overall skin tone mm. and for you not to have breakouts. It's not gonna it, it doesn't mean that you are never gonna have breakouts after you have upper pill and fraxel obviously. I mean. <laughs> yeah skin is skin. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what we recommend just to mention of course after you get your um, procedures we would recommend drinking a lot of water mm -hmm. and she mentioned just spraying mist, you know, moisturizing mist mm -hmm. using that yeah. on daily. Yeah, that would be great if you do have to try if you suffer with dry skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now is where the real fun begins. They take my hair out of my face, they cover everything up, and then they start cleansing my face to make sure that my face is free of makeup so that they can go ahead and do the real deep cleansing with the BB Shine. The staff's hands are super soft and they definitely create that relaxing spa experience for you. Desperté una mañana y ahí estabas con el pelo espeluzado acostado a mi lado. They're doing all this cleansing routine to get me all ready for the step one of this clear recovery package. The first step that they're going to be doing is the BB shine, as I said prior. This treatment is the best way to give your skin a deep cleansing as well as giving a rich posturization without causing too much irritation or stimulation to the skin. For the first part of this process, as you will see pretty soon, the cap attached to the BB Shine machine will vacuum out the dead cells and sebum from the clogged pores and other residues on this layer of the skin. After that, you will see that they will switch the cap to a second one and then moisturizing serums are going to be injected into the skin, leaving it moisturized and so glowy looking. <laughs> this is a completely non-invasive way of giving the skin some nice rejuvenation while giving it a refreshing touch. It feels so good. Here Anastasia came to check on me and then realized that we needed to switch the camera. So she took it upon herself to finish filming for me. Such a sweetheart. Now it's numbing cream time! <laughs> As you'll see, apart from that, an IV will be placed on me to make the experience even more pain-free. As now comes the time to do the Fraxel laser part of the treatment. This AG laser Fraxel treatment has a great effect on acne scars and large pores and pigmentation skin types. Those last two being the main concerns why I went to the clinic in the first place. This treatment will also help create more tightened skin, which can definitely never hurt to have. The Fraxel treatment itself takes like 10 minutes with two different rhythms and the doctor specifically focuses on the areas where either scarrings or bigger pores are located.
desperté una mañana y ahí estaba. This time that you're very, very kind and very easy, oh. easy going customer. <laughs> The skin has a slight burning sensation like sunburn after the treatment, but after the laser they apply cooling mask for a cool down effect and better regeneration. <laughs> Is your face hot? Uh, Cold? Yeah. Right now on this side it's getting cooler of course. Mm -hmm. But this side is still hot. It feels really soothing. Right. Mm. According to the doctor, it's important to avoid intense sunlight or going into humid or damp areas, especially for a week after the treatment is done. And you will be able to see some marks from the laser that will fade within 5 to 7 days after the treatment.
so I'm done with my treatment. Uh, as you can see, there's really not that much redness, and I'm really prone to redness. Usually by this time I'd be 10 shades of tomato red. <laughs> but uh, with uh, the numbing cream and everything, it seems everything is uh, under control. We'll check back in tomorrow. Well, morning after the treatment, sorry for the lighting, it's not that great. Um, I'm just showing you how it's looking. Um, it does get a little bit redder because obviously they treated my skin with later. Um, but it's actually way less red than I thought it would be. By today, they told me that I could um, wear my normal uh, skin things like uh, sunscreen, which is pretty important after a laser treatment. Um, my moisturizers, my uh, makeup. Um, so yeah, I'll be keeping you updated throughout this week. See how everything keeps on looking. Stay tuned. Well, two days have passed since the last time I uh, vlogged about um, the skin and the condition after the laser treatment and the aqua peel with AMOA. Uh, as you can see, the face has gotten way better already. Um, as uh, it was a laser treatment, you know, it does leave your uh, skin um, a little coarse for like um, a, cu a couple of days. Um, that's while it's regenerating again and while it's uh, improving itself. Right now, the most uh, coarseness that I have is over here in my um, m m main problem area, which is like the uh, nose and the under part of my eyes, which were where my largest pores were and where I needed more treatment. But otherwise, my face is starting to feel really smooth. Um, and this is me fully without makeup. So, improvement, huh? Well, here's another log. Um, it's been a few days. I haven't been the best in my water intake. So it has taken like um, two more days than what it's usually supposed to um, uh, heal completely. But if you can see, my skin is already looking like glass skin style. I don't know if the lights are hitting me in the proper lights right now. Um, so yeah, the Fraxel laser treatment has already uh, shown significant uh, uh, rejuvenation and hydration on my skin so honestly like I can 100% recommend this uh, uh, services um, so I got my skin done as we've already established an AMOA dermatology skin clinic in Gangnam um, and honestly like the treatment there was amazing um, the staff was incredibly nice and incredibly helpful always made sure that I understood what they were trying to say with the little Korean I knew and uh, with the uh, translator from uh, the Soul Guide medical uh, team which I really have to thank uh, she was super nice um, and uh, helps me a lot but yeah I mean I can give you a close-up here of how the skin is looking see it's all shiny and uh, very uh, glossy, uh, hydrated. Uh, forget my under eyes right now, it's just I haven't really been sleeping that much because I mean, I'm in a new country, so I kind of have to experience everything. So, with that, I leave you for today and I will uh, probably give you another update uh, uh, in this week. Bye! So, here we are a month after uh, my facial treatments in AMOA. Um, as you can see, I'm fully without makeup here. Um, skin is still remaining awesome, just not to swear in my channel. <laughs> um, as you can see over here, I'm gonna get closer. The pores around my nose and my under eyes that were like my biggest um, skin concern are almost not visible. It, they're like pretty tight and closed, very different to when I went there for the first time. Not that my skin was in a bad condition, but 
you know, you can always do a little better. Um, and well, honestly, I have had no issues applying my makeup ever since uh, the day that I went to get my uh, skin treatment done. And I really recommend it 100%. So if you're ever in Seoul, Korea, um, you should write to Seoul Guide Medical. They'll definitely lead you in the place that you need to go um, for your exact skin concerns. Honestly, like, I can say that which every day, with every day that passes, my skin honestly is looking better. Um, apart from I'm working hard and drinking enough water um, and putting on sunscreen to make sure that my skin isn't damaged by the sun. Um, and yeah, honestly, I'm super glad that I went through that. Now, quickly, let me just jump into my makeup. So full face of makeup afterwards. You can still see a little bit of a close-up over here just to show you guys how my face looks after putting makeup after having gone through that treatment. Um, honestly, I've been using even less makeup than uh, before, like at least less foundation, less of a concealer because I mean it's not that much needed. My face gets covered with less uh, in comparison to before getting uh, the uh, BB Shine and the Fraxel laser treatment uh, with AMOA, as mentioned before. Um, and well, I just hope you liked all of this. And if you wish to see any of the footage in like more of a slowed down paced uh, situation instead of that, um, fast forward it. Let me know, as I told you, down in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do for you. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next part of the Korean Adventure series, and I hope you've enjoyed them so far. Stay tuned for the next. So for now, I leave you. Adios, annyeong, ciao, alvidasin, au revoir, and see you on the next one. Bye!